Hey, I just wanted to show a couple things about um, these bowls real quick. These are some serving bowls. And you'll notice the two different kinds of foot treatment on these. This one is sort of a more uh, common type foot. I guess you'd say, I don't really know, you know, where you come in here and then you have a change in direction and it may either go up straight or come in some. This pot, you can see, has just sort of a continuous line that comes up and then the turned out foot in the center here. One of the things I want to show is that the uh, inside shape and the outside shape doesn't always have to uh, be the same. So I'm going to have to sit this down for a second, but you can remember what that's looking like. And we'll flip this over. So this is the pot with the continuous curve all the way to the foot. Then I just want to show you how this inside profile looks. You've got this bowl shaped curve and then a change in direction and then this rim shape here. So you can see it's quite different and I think it adds a little more complexity to the pot and then other than just having um, where this would come up and then change direction and come right out. You could certainly uh, make it that way, but I think this makes for a little bit more of an interesting pot. This one is actually made the same way on the inside, and I'll turn it over real quick. This pot's a little bit wider, but you can see there's an inside curve here, change in direction, and then sort of a, a rim here. But the outside profile is more of a curve than down to the foot where it changes direction. Clary Elian talks about this in her book, A Potter's Workbook by Clary Elian. There's a nice uh, diagrams and a couple uh, paragraphs in here about wall thickness, structure, complexity, stuff like that. So if you don't have this book, I would highly recommend it. All right, that's it for now.